Hi guys, welcome to my videos. Guys, uh, today in this video we are going to see how we can apply for a Germany tourist visa or visitor visa, whatever you say. Before I proceed further, if you have not already subscribed to my channel, please go and subscribe right now. And I would also like to clarify, neither I am an immigration consultant nor I am a government body. My intention is to show you just uh, how to navigate through a service. If you take anything out of this video, you do it at your own risk. Alright guys, so let's proceed. So guys, I have opened the official federal foreign office uh, of Germany site. So like, let's say you are going for tourism and you are going to stay for short duration. So they have given the link, Schengen visa application here. Yeah, just click on it. You can complete your visa application online here. So we, they are uh, collecting one, two, three, four, five types of information. They have assistant also personal data okay so here you need to provide personal information some fields are mandatory they are in bold and assertic so i'm going to put some sample data here now then it is asking do you wish to exercise your right of uh, freedom to movement so this is applicable for family members of nationals of eu eea or switzerland also relation are not obliged to provide information concerning their occupation reference or financing of their states. If you select this, you need to provide proof, but it may or may not be applicable to you. So uh, it's a it varies case by case. Next is what occupation, current occupation. All right, I'm going to put some sample information here. Next is application uh, assist uh, contact data. If you launch assistant, it's going to show you the what each and every field says you. OK. So I'm going to put some sample information. Next about uh, documents, identification papers and travel documents. So like your passport, just provide the information. Biometric data have you given for Schengen visa. If you have done, click yes. Otherwise, just do not check this checkbox. And next comes travel data. That's very important. Main purpose of your journey. See, you have transit another. So I uh, go for tourism. Okay, members, this is very information important. So you have to enter as per your case and there are rules also where you can apply, where you cannot. So be careful. And I'm going to put some sample here. Have you been issued within last three years? I, I'm not checking it, but if you have, if, if it has been issued to you, you check it. Next entry permit for the final country of destination, wherever applicable. So. It is as per your case and I don't see these fields are mandatory. So I'm going to the next section reference type of reference. Inviting person, hotel, accredited diploma, householder, no reference person. Let's see what happens when I do this. Oh, if I go for hotel, then I need to provide address. And then, uh, Travel and living cost means of support. If I go for inviting person, still these two appear. Okay, I'm gonna just put some sample information, guys. Travel and living cost, applicant himself a means of support. Oh. What are the things you have? Cash, credit card, traveler check. Okay. So after you have properly filled, this continue button gets enabled. You can also save it or you can clear the form. When you click on continue in the previous screen, you can download uh, the PDF uh, version of the file. I mean, that's your visa application file. Still, you need to uh, sign, photograph and all. And then you need to submit the application that is based on your location. So here uh, I have opened like if you're applying from India. So they have given like step by step guide and the location where you got to apply, begin your application. Uh, so visa application form that we have filled up. Okay. Book an appointment. Pay your fee. And also like I would suggest you go and see the checklist also for the documents. Next, you can open the German mission local to you or like uh, that depends upon your location country so here i have opened for india and for Schengen visa they have given this information and they have given the checklist also this is very important 
so for example checklist for tourist visa if you see they have given all the information valid passport application form and declaration sign personal covering letter with entire travel plan for minors leave leave letter of your company if employed no objection certificate from school university if student flight reservation proof of accommodation travel health insurance proof of financial status bank statement income tax return civil status so that's how it works guys and then you schedule an appointment you pay the fee and then if granted it is so before you go to do anything because a lot of things vary case by case verify everything all these official sites and find out what exactly you need then uh, it can be done so thanks for watching this guys please subscribe to the channel